What is up, everybody? This is Blake with the Game Examiner, and Gamescom has just ended. The Sony press conference went really good, in my opinion. The news that we have all been waiting for is finally out of the bag. The PlayStation 4 will be launching November 15th in the United States, only three months away. We were all hoping that it would be October, but November is just as good. They also announced that the PS Vita will be getting a price cut, dropping that $49 and making the price now $200. Not much of a price drop, but it's a good price for an amazing product, so you can't really complain. We did not get an extra large Vita, but who cares? They announced that Borderlands 2 will be coming to the PS Vita, and who the hell is not excited for that? The 12 gigabyte PS3 got a price cut, bringing that price down to $199. They also announced 8 new IPs for the PS Vita, showing off some very, very unique looking titles. Also, it is clear that Sony is not going to forget about the PS3 anytime soon. They showed a lot of love and a lot of new things for the PS3. They also announced a Little Big Planet Hub where you and your sack pals can hang out. If you missed that, you definitely need to check that out. Sony has announced an exclusive GTA 5 PS3 bundle. And if you buy GTA 5 digitally, you get 75% off of any Rockstar title on the PSN. Sony showed off some more of his playroom, saying it was a unique experience, but to me, it looks like what Microsoft's connect has been doing for years. Playroom will come pre-installed on every PS4. Sony announced that his Music Unlimited app on the PlayStation 4 will allow you to play music in the background while gaming, and a click of the PlayStation button will switch tracks, pause, stop, and more. This will be a nice feature, and I'm really looking forward to it. A 14-day trial of PlayStation Plus will be included with every new PS4. And for the next month, if you buy a year subscription of PlayStation Plus, they will add on 90 days to your year subscription, giving you an extra 3 months free. Assassin's Creed 3 is coming to PlayStation Plus's instant game collection. Also, in Assassin's Creed news, they showed off the remote play that will be available in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. It looks stunning on the Vita, and the remote play works seamlessly. So hopefully we will have the same experience when it's released. Minecraft is coming to the PlayStation 4, and that's good news for your Minecraft nerds out there. They also showed off a next-gen MMO called War Thunder, and the name kind of sounds like a bad porno. Here's some really cool news. If you buy the PlayStation 3 version of Battlefield 4, Watch Dogs, Call of Duty Ghosts, Assassin's Creed 4, you will get a massive discount when buying the PlayStation 4 version, and hopefully we see some more discounts like this in the future. 1 million PlayStation 4 consoles have been pre-ordered worldwide as of today. I've been slacking off, so the numbers will rise to 1 million and 1 later this evening. There is much, much more, and if you did not get to watch it live, head over to the PlayStation blog and watch the repeat. What is your most anticipated thing that was announced at Gamescom today besides the release date of the PlayStation 4? Let us know down in the comments. This is Blake with the Game Examiner, and until your next visit, stay gaming.